Well, yes, and good day, viewers. Welcome to another edition of the Sports Wrap Show, where we will be taking you through another beautiful Saturday of beautiful events that just took place here at FNB Unam Stadium. Well, in studio, I am joined by the one and only Hancho Kapofi. Hancho, how are you doing? I'm doing amazing. Of course, just witnessed amazing sports this weekend, and I can't wait to dive into the conversations that have to do with this weekend's sports because, I mean, what else is it than MTV bringing it to you live? Come on, what are you doing? Definitely, you know the vibes. I mean, we just have a technical issue that will be resolved quickly, so please do hang in there with us as we are busy trying to get that done. But let's talk about the NRU uh, Premier League game that just took place today. What, what are your thoughts on the game that we had where we saw F and B Unam just come short against the Western Suburbs? Well, to be quite honest, um, I'm actually very happy for Suburbs because um, I was actually saying that Suburbs is not going to go so far. Um, but they did well, um, seeing as they are not doing so good in the league right now. Um, yeah. They did. They, 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 they could. They were able to. They, they, they were able to do something, man. They were able to do something. And of course, Unam once again um, fails to impress. Okay, you know what, we're not going to do much talking. Let's just take a look at the few videos. I mean, do you know where I came from? Do you, do you know where I was, Sancho? <laughs> you came from Kois. Kois, actually. Kois. Not Kois, it's Kois. So, um, I was deep in the south, 600 Ks south of Ventuk. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had the Kois really that took part. The, there's a lot of footage, there's a lot of videos, there's a lot of people we spoke to. Um, so, now we're just going to have to take a look at the highlights from the Kois rally. Take a look. We are joined by the man himself, the man who organizes the whole event. And we are at the prize giving, as you can see, it's a bit loud here. But I'm joined by Rikes Vermeulen himself. Rikes, how are you doing? Oh, uh, we are very well. Uh, the first day is done. Uh -huh. So we are 50% through the 2023 oh. Coins Pond Rally. So we are very happy. The ambulance stayed put in its place. And that's always our main concern. Okay. Well, Coins Pond Rally 2023, the first day. What's your take of it? What's your review on Friday? We are very happy with the, with the turnout on Friday. Uh -huh. um, I think uh, the economy bassled a little bit. Yeah. Um, we are a little bit less people uh, than we were yesterday or, uh, last year on, on Friday. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think it's, 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 you can put it down to the, the fact that the the economy is the way it is at the moment. Yeah. It's very expensive to get to Kois. Fuel is expensive. Um, but we had a good turnout. We had people from very, very far away. East London, Johannesburg, Angola. Yeah, so we are very happy. Okay, well, um, Rikas, I know it's a beautiful event. I mean, we all had fun. But nobody thinks of what actually happens or what takes place before the event itself. So can you just run us through planning, organizing, getting things ready, what it all takes? Yes, uh, see the fact that we are so far removed from, from major cities, um, it takes a lot of planning, it takes a lot of involvement from the community. Mm -hmm. um, this is not my event, I'm not, I'm maybe the face of it, yeah. but it takes the whole community to, to get this thing through, from the, the Coys Farmers Association the, uh, uh, the churches, yeah. the community itself. There's so much involvement and everybody helps. One man can't do it all. Can't do the whole thing. Um, you know, getting food prepared yeah. for a thousand people, rocking up here in a little small town like this, getting fuel for enough people, yeah. getting the roads great, getting all the all the paperwork done, and uh, there's so many things. Uh, I mean, it's I can't. We don't have enough time. To we don't have it. enough time for that. Okay, so now you guys are prepping for. Let's see, you guys are getting ready. Yeah, we well, in general you have to prep at home, mm -hmm. eh? basically get your bike ready and everything. Okay. We only have here in front we have a marshal cart. Okay. Because there are always on the track certain sections where you could take a shortcut. Okay. But there will be marshals. They will observe everything uh -huh. and you have to come to a marshal and they will hook that you've been to that marshal. They make a sign here. They, they're they sign, they sign off, okay. So you can't really take uh, uh, shortcuts <laughs> on that, no? Yeah. Yeah, otherwise uh, it's probably going to be a three or four lap race. Mm -hmm. So you need to be prepared for fuel. Uh -huh. Some guys have bigger tanks. Some, uh, most of the guys have smaller tanks. Uh -huh. So you must bring your extra petrol. 
to refuel. To refuel. Oh, and okay. if your bike is really thirsty, you have to refuel every lap. Every lap. Every so lap. Now after you, you can, finish a lap, you should yeah, come you in. Can and refuel. Refuel, you can have a quick drink, and <laughs> on you go. And then you're back on the track. Yeah. In the past, they used to have like a decontrol time, okay. where they say you have to stay in the pit for five minutes, mm -hmm. and then you can refuel. Take your time. After five minutes, you can, you must leave again. Uh -huh. But this year they're not going to have it. So you will come in here at the pit. You refuel. You drink quickly drink and, and poof, then off you go again. again. Okay. Ah, definitely. Ancho, quickly run us through what happened there by biking. Of course, um, the final XC of the series took place today at the IJG Trials in Kleiner Cooper. In this edition, the under-14 racers from various racing teams branded together to make the most of, the fi of their final day. Of course, the bikers from Simot, Food Lovers, Marathon Sugar and Physically Active Youth were among those in attendance so, uh, today. So stay tuned to hear what they had to say because this was a wild one. Hi, my name is Daniel Ennis. I race for um, Simon Racing Team and I'm an under 14 racer. Today I won, which I'm very happy with. It was a very tough race for all on the climbs, but I managed to win my opposition and I'm staggered because I've never done that before. Hello, my name is Jadur Greef. I was here by Farm Windhoek. We have today a XC ride. The weather was rare. Niet koud die en voor 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 wat ik niet verwacht die en die klemmen was maar altijd ook heel lekker nee maar die afgaan was lekker en ja die die competitie was bij haar ten lekker maar des 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 wat een zuk wat duizend keer kills in mij is mij is stronger. Mijn is Jaffer Mukasi. Also known as PJ. I'm a coach of this physically active youth. Um, well, we do have one of our riders competing in the elite category. Um, he's currently laying third overall in the series. Um, so yeah, hoping for him to finish second. And um, what we do is we are part of like the development um, of riders here. So we have development riders that are still upcoming. Um, we have. I came with one of the junior boys, uh, two junior boys, and one junior lady. Um, to the race yeah, just to get them inspired because they are they compete in the school F and B league. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now it's time to take a look at the NRU Premier League highlights. Stay tuned. He's there, Mr. Ivan Palmer. He's there. It was. Ons merkteam is toe, sommer voor in lijn staan, hulle doen dit nou gereeld, lijkt het vir my. Oh, baie skitterende rakwe, hulle hou nog wel altijd bal in hand, nou gaan hulle met die bal grond toe. Hy moet terugkom, krappel om daar uit, is Willemse wat om uitkrap, hier kom hulle met hom, Justin Nell, hy het bal voor en toe geskap. Oh, bal achter toe, al geslaan, as een man wat daar oorduik. Kauru wat die bal, Kaura wat die bal daar veilig gemaakt het. Ja, tik hulle om daar, Klassen, kom hulle met hom, vinnig daar, April, hy doen die bal in die hande. Hij zit dan Sharif Titus, kijk daar, Sharif Titus naar de binnenkant toe. Ze zijn meest hier warm botter, gaan hij daar deur hulle sê, warm meest hier die botter. Schitterend, hij gaan omdraaf en hij druk hier druk. Hij komt een tijd dus kus. Als hij nog gaan zit. Kijk nou die palen. Net zoals dat vindt u vinnig, hij maakt je fout met die mensen. Kom hij voor en toe. Ok, hy was over meneer Ivan Farmer daarop, hy is inderdaad tussen die palen deur. Waldo Ritman, hy gaan voor en toe uit, ook een stilwestrijd tot nou toe gehad. Kom hulle met hom, hierdie kant toe, daar die kant toe, Elsino Isaks, was dit recht, dit was die rechte ding gewees, om te doen en die man wat die bal... En die palen dop nou, as hy voor en toe gekom en bal geskop, Lishanu van Rooi, hy het verseker sy skopskoen aan. As die skramskakel, hou hy die bal dop. Nou kom hy voor en toe met hom, wat maak hy met hierdie een as, rechts, keeps recht. Hy het ook nog nie gemis nie. Of paviljoen en nog een paviljoen nie, is net een paviljoen. Kijk hy mooi skoot daar. Skitterend, skitterend, hy maak nie een fout nie. Hy sê, dit is inderdaad de Marshall Artoon, wat hulle maak, hulle krij die bal uit daar. Maar hier van die groot mannen toe, hulle gaan die drie druk, hulle druk die drie daar, meneer Matthijs sê die drie draak. Ja, is inderdaad die plaasvervanger daar, Ronald Vogel. 
Ronald Vogel, hy die drie gedruk daar die plaats. Yassine Isaacs, is het hy, ja, inderdaad, maar hy Yassine Isaacs, so, hy maak een groot fout, hy skop die bal daar in die hande van Justin Nell, Justin Nell sales. 26-19, ek loop hulle nou voor, ek sê rij witplank, wat sy witplank rij, Western Suburbs, alles hier, alles, Ja, die Ozaal, hy maak ook die fout nie, hy klits om tussen die pale deur, ja, daar is... Dan kom hy voor en toe, hy kan hom lekker self doppe, hierdie keer. Ja, hy maak die fout nie, drie punte by, drie punte by, hy tel ons kyf aan. So, hy kan oorskop, 34, 23, dis 11 punte. So, wist kan hy my naam nou in die steek gelaat, hy maak nie die fout nie, dis die eerste suksesbal plaas, kyk hoe nabij aan die doel en is hulle werkelijk nou... Daar is het rondel, ach, ja, die man wat daar oorgegaan het, is niemand... Ja, kijk hoe mooi het is daar van die hommel te heen, goeiemiddag. Wel, Hanjo, definitely. Hier sluit by ons aan, hier van die Unam Stadion af, ons die groot honde vandag aan mekaar. We saw a beautiful game of rugby where you just saw F&B Unam come short against the Wander, against the Western Suburbs. I keep seeing Wander today, I don't know why. But what are you, what is your thought on that game? Well, um, definitely, I don't know what, 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 what's up in your mind? Sorry, sorry. But that's all right. Um, there was, of course, Suburbs, the team that is currently below on the league, uh, on the table. Hey, last, sorry, basically. last number, last. Mm -hmm. But they definitely showed up and did the most. So I was actually very proud of them. And I was proud to see what they actually had to display and bring on the table. Because, you know, from the beginning, I've been saying Suburbs doesn't have this in the bag. Suburbs doesn't have this in the bag. Same. But just to see how the captain led the team to victory, I must say that he was one very exemplary player and, and, and that's what um, took the game very far yeah. but also I am very angry at the lack of discipline during the game because there were just too many fights that broke out man I think I think the fights broke out because of the fact that it's a derby yeah so it's a derby which uh, I mean you come into a game it's it's high intensity it's the pressure to win the game I mean you want to get the win the other team wants to get the win Yunam had the advantage because they were playing at home yes. Yunam had the advantage because they had five players that were released by the Venduk draft the beaches yes. so those five players came back into the team maybe they didn't have enough time to gel with the players so maybe that also contributed to them not winning the game but coming short with two points at home not good enough not good enough definitely not not good enough but all the best for you now in their future games and definitely. future endeavors yeah. but all the best to stop up is this the rise of suburbs Hopefully. It, it, it might be. It could be. It, it could, could be. be. It could Obviously, definitely they're not going to get to the top of the league, but they will get somewhere. <laughs> they will definitely. Yeah, they will get somewhere, and we will see them, of course, um, excelling and doing the most. Okay, Hancho, enough about Yunam in Western Suburbs. As you can see, the, uh, in the results, we have Yunam 33 and Western Suburbs 34. Kudus and Wanderers. <laughs> I am so Ooh. angry with this one because I'm a Kudus fan. Um, obviously, I wanted to see the other way around. Yeah. But what, what can we say? What can we game. say? A good game. Wanderers just came away with two points. I don't know how it uh, affects the table, but I think this could mean that Wanderers go back on top of the table. And plus, Wanderers are the only team undefeated in the NRU Premier League. At Did you know moment. that? Did you know that? Wow, I Ten didn't. games, no losses. I, I, I didn't know. But I wonder is, ne? Like for me, I guess I'll be forget this one. I would be a um, sharp jump over there. Maybe you would know, be considered. Fan, what do you know? What do you know? What do you know? Loyalty, 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 loyalty. Okay, well, a win for... You know what? What's a shock for the weekend? I think the fact that... Um, Rebord. Rebord against Trasco United. Honestly, Trasco has been doing amazing, man. Trasco has been doing really well. What happened there? Because I think 27-34. Yeah. It, 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 it's, I don't know. I don't know. I think, I think all these teams just need to go back and regroup. And something is wrong. Something is not happening. Yeah, it was definitely an exciting weekend. I think the results speak for themselves because yes. it's really close. And here it's two points, one point. And then we talk about the team. The team See itself. Joe. See Joe. See Joe. 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 <laughs> <laughs> 45, 44. Oh, wow. 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 That, that's such a, a beautiful score. Even though it's like, it's, it's literally like Unam in Western Suburbs. Yeah. Except a little bit higher. But yeah. like, it's, it, you, you feel the intensity. I'm very happy, honestly. I'm you very happy. You feel the intensity, man. But um, big ups to Groot Fontaine. Big ups. One point. Winning that game by one point. I mean, it looks like it was definitely an interesting game. Yeah. Um, it's such a bummer that I missed that one. But I'm going to speak to our 
mix uh, prov to provide us with the highlights from the Kudus game because we definitely want to see that in a few. Yes. So do I stay tuned. Let, do stay let's tuned. Have a look at the reserve, uh, reserve leagues. Wait, 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 wait. No, before we go there, let's talk about NMH. Let's talk about La Rahpi Jol. Let's talk about the fact that NMH is sending someone all the way to France for the Rahpi. World Cup. But let's, uh, with the Reserve League, you mean, I mean, you see, Yunam coming out strong against Western Suburbs, 23-15. Kudus winning that game against Wanderers Rearboard. Taking on Trusco United and actually winning that one. So I don't know what was happening with um, Trusco United today, but they were definitely not doing the most. And finally, once again, <laughs> see Joe taking on the Rio Falcons and taking that W. Uh, no, congratulations to Chris Mantin. But uh, like we said, before we go to Le Rahbi Joel, let's take a look at the highlights from the Kudus game. <laughs> Hallo kijkers en welkom hier bij Irongo Talk. Dit is zaterdag, maar eindelijk moet ons hier die dag hernoem na rugby dag. Uh, dit is een iets wat stofferige dag hier bij die kus. En daar, daar valt Kulusi Veld onder leiding van Joshua Jacobs. Zij paard het natuurlijk ook paar wedstrijden van Kulus gespeeld. Humphrey Jacobs. En daar valt hulle die veld. Nee, vandaag oud is vandaag gaan groot wees. Ik, 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 ik voel het zomaar zo dat... Dat gaan massief is, dat gaan groot wees. Dus Jankies, wat gaan aan die palen toe? Dus kop met zijn rechtervoet. Nee, dat is die keer tussen die palen hier. En ja, dus drie punten dan aan die kant van Wanderers. Daar wordt de fop aan de gegeven. gegee. En daar trek, daar trek Kudus. En daar gaan hulle, daar gaan hulle oor in die hoek. Daar draf hulle om en hulle druk om aan die palen. Dat is alias Sevilla. Wat die eerste vijf punten. Daar op het telbord zit. So, Wilma uh, Besser, welkom hier bij ons. Ember van Wijk. Ja, uh, tight game. Inderdaad, meneer Bota. Geniet het. Hier is... Wat daar laat weet ons ken, daarom gelukkig die wind. En dan een uh, kijker wat voor ons uh, laat hoor. Wind en sand is wel vast bij Sereen. Nee, daar had hulle moet tussen die pal het hier gesit. En dis 10 punten dan in die kant van Kudus. Daar kom die bal in de aan die, aan die klein kant van die veld, kom die bal uit. En hij speelt nog steeds aan die klein kant om. En die man is zak laag daar, drie meter al van die doelgebied af. En daar gaan hulle dwars hier. En daar zit hulle om neer. Daar zit hulle om neer, Outus. Dis Arangis, dis Tersius, Outus. Hij heet Outus, Outus, inderdaad. Daar gaan wanderers oor, Outus. En dis 15 punten jak. Daar gaan wanderers oor. Hoe lekker kan dit nie raak nie, Outus. Hoe lekker kan dit nie raak nie. Meneer Skuitsrechter, die man was op die grond. As ons net kyk na die kyk weer, sal ons sien. Die man was op die grond. En daar was op hom geduik. Maar ja. En hierdie skare, hulle is glad nie. Skopper vriendelikie. Glad nie, glad nie. En Jankie sit om tussen die palen dier en is... 17 punten, 17 punten dan voor Wanderers en 15 punten dan aan de kant van Kudus. Dat gaan een naal beter wees, Outus. Naal beter, inderdaad, naal beter. That is something that is going to make sense for Morgan Janssen, the lady that won the NMH Le Rugby Joel competition on Friday afternoon in Vintuk. Janssen is one of seven finalists that made it to the final and third stage. Now, she was lucky to have the right black balloon with a correct blue hidden inside so she was over the moon with her co-sponsored by dstv namibia and Ventuk draft prize now let's take a look <laughs>
right now let's take a look at the wrestling action that we had this weekend now the desert regional wrestling tournament which took place at the Vintage gymnasium private school hall saw wrestlers making sure that the fans and wrestling enthusiasts were entertained as they showcased world-class wrestling in the Greco, Roman, and freestyle categories. Lazarus Haimbodi and Alex Hainiga displayed some of the best medal winning performances of the day. Romeo Goliath was also in the mix of the things and completed the day undefeated. Here are some of the highlights brought to you by our NTV team. Anto, speaking, speaking of highlights, I mean, those are the highlights that we're busy watching. I don't know what your problem is, but definitely it was a good initiative. It was a good sporting event. Um, as you, you do know who came all the way from France? Ooh. Vincent Aka. Wow, Participated wow. in the Olympics three times, won a few medals for himself. So it was good to see that um, our wrestlers got exposed to people from outside of the country. Not only outside of the countries, but people all the way from uh, the likes of France. That's international people that are uh, coming through there. But enough about that. Let's first congratulate NMH for the fact that they came through with the rugby jaw and that the, me, if, if, if that was me. Hi. <laughs> hi, hi. Bonjour. If, if, bon après midi. If that something. was me. Yeah. <laughs> something, something, something. Okay, but yeah, uh, what are your thoughts on the fact that they're sending someone all the way to France to watch the first game that Namibia will be taking part in, in the rugby World Cup 2023? Um, I mean, it's giving back. I mean, um, NTV always brings you guys live sports. When mm. Namibia is playing against all these different um, um, teams, um, our viewers always, our, view, our viewers are always excited, commenting and, you know, enjoying the episodes. So this is our form as NTV. We said, listen, we've got you. We're going to give back and we are going to send you to France, Le Paris. Le Paris. <laughs> Le Paris. So go ahead and, you know, have the time of your life and, of course, enjoy the Brave Warriors live, which is just something amazing to witness so all the best to Imog Morgan and yeah. honestly luck was on her side mm -hmm. no definitely huge congratulations to her for that one well Hajo definitely having a good time here on, on the wrap-up show indeed indeed i'm having an amazing time I'm, i've enjoyed the weekend sports um especially when it came to those nru games of course the wrestling seeing that we had an insider from france is always just amazing we are sending someone to france we had someone from france Quincy, <laughs> and you see you see how everything just gels together and co comes good together okay but let's first let me first ask you this question do you think that this year will be the first year where we actually win a game at the rugby world cup 2023 Win a game. We, Anjo, we have never won a game in the World Cup Listen, before. that's what I'm asking you. Win a game. I'm talking games. Have you seen how good our team has become? I think, um, I think with the excellent leadership uh -huh. and um, the leadership of Prince, our captain. He won't be the captain. Who, is, is he not the captain he for the... Oh, my no, gosh. He won't be the but captain. Either way, either way, whether he's the captain or not, I think um, the team just exalts um, great discipline and leadership qualities. And I think that is very important. And if people don't understand yet, the, great, the trick to great rugby is discipline. discipline. That's what actually takes you far. So I've seen um, um, an excellent amount of discipline from our players, and I think that's what's actually going to take them very far yeah. in the World Cup. Even if they don't win the World Cup, I think um, they are going to win a bunch of games. <laughs> and <laughs> if, they d if, if they don't, yeah. Brian, I'm going bald. You're going bald. <laughs> I'm going bald. I'll and I've said it on Sports Rep Live. If they win games, I'll, I'll also go bald. Okay. It's a deal. It's a deal. Okay. If they well, win games. If they win games. More than one or more than two. Let's, let's, let's I'll cut my health. Are you sure? If they win more than one, I'll cut all, all my health. All our viewers listening, I am going to have that picture displayed on our screen. Okay. <laughs> Sunday drop. Subjects. Right after this. Let's take a look. Okay, well, with the Sunday drop, we're just going to have a look at what to expect for Sunday. I mean, we have a lot of sports that are taking place, as per usual, because Safa is back and around. Namibia is supposed to be playing now, yes. and um, I'm just not sure with how that result is going right now, but uh, hopefully Namibia can come out strong on that. And we also have the rugby game that's taking place. We have South Africa, who are taking on, uh, is it Argentina? Yes, 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 Argentina. That's a huge, huge game. New Zealand. New Zealand. Australia, actually. Australia. Yes, <laughs> definitely a huge game. And Namibia is Namibia is losing, apparently, 2-1 as it stands. Oh, my gosh. Namibia, Namibia, after, Namibia. After a 1-1 draw 
against South Africa. Now they're busy losing. That's definitely very, very disappointing. And yes. Springboks doing what they usually do as it stands, the leading 36-5 in that game day. So hopefully they can win the competition this year. It's actually 41-5. Wow. 41-5 wow. in wow. favor of South Africa. Do you think South Africa will win the World Cup this year? Um... If it's with the leadership of Siat Kolisi, then I definitely think... That that's the only rugby player I know in South Africa. <laughs> that's the only rugby no, player you know. I know Siat Kolisi. I know um, Lundim Seng. Should I go on? Go, go, go. No, give no, me, no. Give me two more. I think because of time, we need to go and talk about Costa Africa for something. Uh -huh. so, now, maybe I, I don't know what's happening there, man. You um, can't throw in South Africa and, and, and lose against es Eswatini. Eswatini. It, 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 it make it balanced. Honestly, I mean, we have... Um, we have Ryan Nyambe. We have um, what's the guy's name? We have Ryan Nyambe. Shalulile. Yes, Peter Shalulile. Dion Hotto. I mean, Shalulile and Elon Gapi. What's happening? But okay, but the guys we are mentioning, they are not playing in the Kosafa. Yes, yes. Okay, well, um, enough, enough about in, enough about football enough about rugby i just uh want to congratulate the lady who won the Le rugby joel once again Morgan i wish Morgan Janssen, Janssen. Yes. i wish that was me but yeah i think that's all we have for you on today's wrap-up show yes and i hope you have you've enjoyed um all the weekend festivities we brought to you but as for right now as Morgan would say choose <laughs> what what is That's that actually in german wow. no but i tried i tried okay no Hancho. from me and Hancho, it is goodbye goodbye Thank you.